We go from the SBC to the Pac-12. This is Quentin Selma, hometown of Clovis, California, out of Buchanan High School. First team, all Pac-12 performer. Honorable mention Pac-12, all academic. And he caught fire late. He wasn't playing a whole lot early in the season for the Cow Bears, but hit seven of his ten home runs hitting in front of one of the most dangerous hitters we've seen the last couple of years, Andrew Vaughn, last year's Golden Spikes Award winner, and the third overall pick in the draft. Comes from a great family of baseball players. Grandpa Dick played ten years in the big leagues. His dad is one of the assistant coaches at Fresno City College, and that's where his pitcher comes from. Darren Comente, some of family friend. In fact, his wife went to college with Quentin's mom. He's, they've been family friends for a long, long time. And this is a laser towards the wall, but that one curls foul for Quentin's son. Third baseman for the Cal Golden Bears. And across the bay, he had a big one against Stanford, hit two home runs in a game on May 10th against the Cardinal. He's trying to look for some direction. Where, where does he want the ball to be? I would say he wanted, it, for me, I would want it middle in and a little up, right? That way I don't have to try so hard to create left. There's number one, a rocket in the right field bullpen. You notice he's having a hard time getting the ball elevated. There's two in a row. There you go. Get that thing up in the air, big fella. And so we saw a lot of grounders early and some hard line drives, which, you know, might not be as disappointing in the normal pregame routine, but in the home run derby, there is one goal and one goal only. That'll count off the top of the wall. These guys are all taking breaks from their summer playing schedule. Quinn will return to playing for the Santa Barbara Foresters for his summer league team once this event is over. I can think of worse places to spend your summer than Santa Barbara. That ain't a bad spot. Hey now. Hey now. That's a high one there. Stretch! Uh oh, quite get out. Uh oh. And then you can see some of these balls, TJ Gillette had the same deal. Some of these balls are really well hit, just not quite getting the correct part of the baseball. And that's the piece that sometimes coaches get a little nervous about because, again, anytime in batting practice you had a one hopper off the ball, everybody would be tickled with that. He's going to use a timeout and regroup. I think that's a wise decision. Sella sitting at three so far. The next stop on the F1 circuit is the Austrian Grand Prix, Sunday at 9 a.m. Eastern on ESPN2. And the ESPN app points leader, Lewis Hamilton, has won six of the eight races this season with a pair of second-place finishes. So our second contestant of the night, Quentin Sella, takes his timeout. Sitting at three, just about halfway through his four-minute round, T.J. Cullen of Kentucky started this off. He hit nine in his first round. So Collette will sit and watch. Two contestants will be eliminated here in this first round. So it's about Sella's family background. Grandpa Dick played for the Mets, Padres, Cubs, Phillies, Angels, and Brewers in a 10-year career that spanned from 1965 to 1974. His dad still has his rooms full of mementos for Grandpa Dick's playing for him. What a great guy just to sit around and chat with. Yeah, we're a bad practice today. What a fine young man. That one is foul. All these kids are really well spoken and very polite. Spent some time with him today. Of course, he's super talented right now. Quentin having a hard time getting the ball airborne fair. See a few foul homers. And he's just, just under or just over right now. He's kind of caught in between. There you go. And this laser's going to clear the fence and get over the bullpen and gone. Sitting at single digits with under a minute to go. Quentin Sella took over the third base job for Cal about midway. See the way that ball carried out to left field. You see some of these balls come just short to right. I feel like a right-hander's got an advantage here. Let's see if that one's got the carry. Kids hoping to catch it, but it's going to go over their heads and into the bullpen. Remember, Colette's got nine, and we eliminate two in the first.
first round. So that's got a pass to the with 20 seconds to go. He needs He's got a shot. Two and tie. Oh, oh there it's way gone. And Quinn still finding his rhythm.